Hello, today is a quick lesson on the Pythagorean Theorem. I find it for the easiest way of connecting two points on a graph. I will be using the coordinates 1, 1, and 6, 3. And there you go. Now, the easiest thing about this theorem is that you get to work with triangles, which are extremely helpful in these kinds of situations. So what you're going to want to do is start at one coordinate and work your way over directly under the, co the other coordinate to make a right angle. And then you're going to want to connect them with the side that, that we will be finding, which is called the hypotenuse, which is this final side right here. What you're going to want to do is start counting your solid sides that go straight up and down. So I'll count the bottom one first. One, two, three four, five. So that side is five. Now for the right side. One, two. This is the equation that will help you find it all. <laughs> now all you have to do is plug in the numbers. This A and B are the two sides in the Pythagorean theorem triangle that we did at the beginning. A is going to be our base on the triangle. And that was five. And B is going to be on the right side of the triangle, which is 2. But wait, didn't you realize in the equation just a little bit ago that it was A squared plus B squared? Here, check it out. A squared, 5, is 25. B squared, 2, is 4. So, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In order to find the true answer you're looking for for the hypotenuse of the triangle, aka the distance between the two coordinates, you're going to have to find the square root of 29 in this situation. But because 29 isn't a perfect square, this is going to have to do you the best. The square root of 29. And there's your answer. I didn't know this was recording. Well, I really hope this something helped all you guys, and I'll see you next time. Gotta go. Bye. Woohoo!